Out of tomorrow's huge game at the Emirates, which could have massive implications on the Premier League title race. Yeah, we're now joined by Arsenal fan, lead judges and Big Steve, who's a Manchester City supporter. Hiya, morning guys. Yeah, good morning to you all. Good morning, how you doing? Hopefully you can hear me OK. Uh, we're hoping as well that uh, because it's Valentine's Day, we're going to see a little bit of love in the air and uh, not too much hate between our two guests. Uh, guys, thanks so much for joining me. Uh, Lee, I'm going to start with you. It's February, Arsenal are top of the league, three points clear with a game in hand. If I told you that at the start of the season, would you have believed me? No, I wouldn't have, and I'll bite your hand off for it. Like, you know, So it's a fantastic position to be in, and I'm... Uh, you know, like excited about, you know, every game at the moment and that's the way it should be like, you know. So, listen, I've been jealous of other teams, Liverpool, uh, Man City, like battling for these sort of games and Arsenal are involved in it and, uh, yeah, you've got to look forward to it. Steve, I watched a video of yours recently. You described Arsenal as we play well FC at yeah. one point. But uh, on a serious note, what's impressed you the most about Mikel Arteta's side this season? No, I've been a big fan of Arteta for a while. I just think he's got it right. The signing of Jesus and Zinchenko has made a massive difference. Two winners. Um, they're definitely the form team. He's got them playing. You can't deny that. You know, 50 points in the halfway of the season. You know, it's uh, it's been a weird season with the World Cup and that. But no, they deserve everything they're getting at the minute and they're the team to beat. And that's why we're, we're coming here Wednesday and uh, trying to knock them off the perch. Knock them off the perch. Oh, well, I like that. I like that. <laughs> you like that? Fighting talk already, Steve. OK, OK. Uh, Lee, mini blip at the moment, three games without a win, or do you see something a little bit more maybe serious on the playing from? I think it's a little blip at the moment. We're in a position where we can have that little blip. We've put ourselves in that position. So, uh, but I'm a little bit worried, but more, more excited about this game because I don't think Manchester City will play like the other teams have. I think they'd be open, and I think that's going to suit us a little bit more if I'll be honest. But, you know, when you're not winning games, you're obviously going to start to worry a little bit. Now, Steve, last week there was some quite serious news coming out of the Premier League with the alleged financial breaches and the charges brought to Man City. I must stress alleged at this stage as well. Um, will that give you guys extra motivation on the pitch? Because we saw a big reaction, certainly in that first half against Aston Villa on Sunday. Yeah, it was a tough week for the fans as well. You know, we, we, we were getting it from all angles. You know, everyone always assumes you're guilty when these things come out. Um, we were a little bit flat and then Pep Guardiola did that press conference where he could have easily swerved every question. He stood there, he's our leader. He told us he was staying at the club, he thought he was innocent. And it just galvanised the whole fan base. And we got to the Villa game um, at weekend. There was a, a, a coach arrival. The fans were on form. The full south stand was bouncing. You've seen the, the, uh, the banner panic on the streets of London and listen the football clubs all together now you know it, we feel like there's a mentality against Manchester City so we're together now we're all the fans are pulling in the right direction Pep's in the right direction we just got to get our heads on it now and win the league. Do you think in a way that will actually help with the season because from the outside looking in it's been quite inconsistent at times from Manchester City they set such high standards don't they in the Premier League? Yeah uh, listen I'm the first to admit this season's been a bit stop start for us you know, Erling started brilliantly, you know, scored all them goals. But we've changed our system a little bit. And, and every time we think we're going on a run, we, 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 we drop a few points and it doesn't quite get going. But, you know, the reaction at weekend for Villa, from the crowd, from the players, we just looked on it, you know what I mean? The football was faster. And listen, we're going into this game really, really confident and, and all together as one. So hopefully we can get the win. And Lee, they should probably feel pretty confident, Manchester City. If you look at recent form, it's not particularly pretty for Arsenal fans. The last 14 games, 13 defeats and just one victory. But what's different about this game tomorrow night? Well, I think Steve said it. I think it was just different the players. Jesus has been a massive uh, influence. Obviously, he's injured, but Shinchenko as well. I, I just think that Arsenal are in a better place mentally. Um, listen, you know, I, I don't say that, that any of the teams are in top, top form. You know, Manchester City have you know lost to Spurs last week and then you know got the result against Aston Villa. We've not been that great in the last couple of games but if you're going to need one team that's going to boost you to get you back to where you were look the incentive is to go six points clear with with a game in hand you know what what more incentive do you need like as we are in valentine's day in february that's what you need and valentine's day have you got any love for pep guardiola though because this is a manager that often springs about some surprises uh Mikel arteta was obviously 
worked alongside Pep for quite a number of years as well. I've not been a lover of Pep, if I'll be honest, but like he gave us Jesus and he gave us Shinchenko, so I've kind of like him now. Like you know, if he can give us one more, then who knows? Like you know, but listen, I think he's a top top manager. Um, and I think that, you know, Arteta has obviously learnt something from him and, and obviously like Arsene Wenger as well, you know. So I, I think like, you know, um, Pep's, Pep's all right, but um, I, I, I'm going to stick with Mikel. Pep's all right. I'm going to stick with Mikel. Do you think there'll be quite a bit of focus before this game on the touchline and the two managers going head to head? I think there's a lot of respect between them. Obviously, Mikel did really well for Man City and uh, people were a bit sad to see him go, you know. And he went to Arsenal, he won the FA Cup. He's had a, a bit of a rough ride there, you know what I mean? It's not been, not been rosy for him, um, but he's finally turned the club around. You know, the fan base, like I talk about Man City being galvanised as a fan base. Arsenal this season's a totally different place. I came here last season, Arsenal played us off the park and we won. You know, and I said on, on a few interviews outside the ground, you know, you've got you to stick with Mikel and, and, and you, you can see by that performance there that things are going in the right direction. I mean, he does get animated uh, on the touchline, but I don't think he will with Pep, you know what I mean? It's about, he, he, Pep's the master and he's the, he's the apprentice, so he needs to calm down. And Lee, as Steve said, the Emirates atmosphere has been completely different this year. Do you think that could be the difference come tomorrow night? Yeah, definitely. I think like, this place will be rocking uh, tomorrow night, you know, and... and the, the, the actual atmosphere now over the last sort of year has been building and building. It's been fantastic. And, I, and look, there's no coincidence we're unbeaten in the, in the league at home. And I think that's a big, big thing. Oh, look, listen, every Arsenal fan will be like up for this tomorrow. No, no doubt about that. It's going to be a massive, massive game. And, uh, you know, as I say, Manchester City are the champions. And that's it. It's the champions against the wannabes. And that's what, that's what we want. We want to be the champions. Lee, prediction, who's going to come out on top? I just think Arsenal being home advantage, I think we'll sneak it 2-1. Steve, over to you. Prediction time. I knew, know you did say previously that if you did get a draw tomorrow night, that would be a pretty good result for Man City. Do you still stand by that? Yeah, I, I believe in, in the title's is not one in the big games. I think it's the, the smaller teams that come in the business end of the season when they've got relegation to play for, maybe the chance of Europe. I think they're the games where you, the teams sort of relax and you get caught out. So if we get a draw here tomorrow, I'll be happy. But uh, I think City's going to nick it and I'm going to go 1-0. 1-0 City. They're your predictions. It is Valentine's Day. <laughs> you guys behaved yourself impeccably. <laughs> a lot of love in the air as well between the both of them as well as they build up to tomorrow night's game. It's first versus second. It's going to be a Premier League cracker. Yeah, thanks to Lee, Big Steve and Big James as well. <laughs>